Welcome back, everyone. Joining us now is Sharla Inestrosa, who is with the Contra Valley Defenders of Life. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, Thank you for joining us here on the show. Thank you for having uh, absolutely. me. Absolutely. Now, we've got some interesting things right here in front of us. What, what is it that we have here? Okay. This is a fetal model set. And last week, we talked about how we're having the silent prayer mm -hmm. vigil on the anniversary of Roe v. Wade next Wednesday at the courthouse from noon to 1. But um, they had also asked about some of the things that we do as an organization. Mm -hmm. And so what, one of the things we do is try to teach our youth about, you know, just the miracle of life. And so we take these fetal models to the youth groups that invite us and just to show them that, like, this baby right here, in my hand is a baby at 16 weeks oh, wow. gestation in the mother's womb. I know, isn't that amazing? <laughs> and then this one, and, and we put these because we give all the children one of the 12 week or mm -hmm. all the youth the 12 week. This is it at um, 12 weeks in the mother's womb. Here it is without a little cover. And this is at 12 weeks. And so they're really amazed mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot of them have just heard, oh, they're just like a, a blob of tissue. Nothing's going on until they really get big. And that's not true. You know, their hearts start beating at 18 days uh -huh. after conception and from the moment of conception it's already determined if they're going to be a boy or a girl right. and you know all their inherent traits so it's really amazing so we just discuss with them truly the miracle of life and we pass these around and they get to hold all the the big fetal models mm -hmm. and what's really neat is that the young men are always just as interested as the young ladies right. and I think we all think that if you teach them to respect life, all life, and love life, even when they're in the, the mother's womb, mm -hmm. that, you know, I think that it would just be a kinder world if we just respected life in the womb. Then that way, when the babies are born, if you nurture your baby when you carry your baby, then you're going to be a better parent once mm -hmm. your baby is born. And I just think there are a lot of misconceptions out there, you know, about, oh, it's my choice, it's my body. But once you become pregnant, there are two lives to think about. And, you know, in this world, it's not said that. So that's why we're doing that silent prayer vigil, mm -hmm. because since Roe v. Wade in 1973, it'll be 47 years this oh, wow. year, almost 62 million babies have been aborted in the United States. I mean, think about that. It's just it's really horrendous mm -hmm. when you think about it. And there are life choices out there. I was adopted at birth, and I was adopted before Roe v. Wade. And so I think about my children and my grandchildren, and if I wasn't here, they wouldn't be either. Because just like adoption mm -hmm. saves generations, Abortion doesn't just end that one life. It ends generations. So we just go and we try to teach the youth about the dignity of all uh -huh. life and um, just about that they're all precious in God's eyes and that God has a plan for each and every right. one of us. We all have gifts. Absolutely. So is yes. this something, it's been, it's, uh, it's 47 years since, since Roe v. Wade. Wade. That's, yes. that's quite a long mm -hmm. time. Do you do this prayer vigil every year? Well, you know what? Last year was our first year okay. to do it at the courthouse. Now, they've been doing it in Austin, you mm -hmm. know, for years. They do the march. As a matter of fact, next Saturday, the 25th, they will have the, um, the Life Walk in Austin, the March for Life in Austin. And um, that will be at 2 o'clock where people will march in Austin mm -hmm. to the courthouse and hear speakers. And so we have three buses from San Angelo oh, wow. um, with people, three of the, of the large charter buses going for that and we have several individuals that are going as well and so but at the courthouse that's local mm -hmm. for anyone who wants to come it is for all denominations it's going to be a silent prayer vigil you'll show up there will be an opening prayer and then everybody is just last year how we did it is everybody was just they just mm -hmm. silently pray their own prayer, and then, um, you know, you can leave when you want to leave. But we're doing it during the lunch hour uh -huh. because a lot of times that's more convenient for right. people. So we're saying 12 to 1, but if you can't get there till 12.15, that's okay. If you, need, if you can't get there till 12.30, if you have to leave at 12.45, mm -hmm. it's really just so that we can come together and reflect and just pray, you know, for whatever, you know, people who are going through different things right. and have dealt with different things with, um, with childbirth, with 
unplanned pregnancies, those who've had abortions, right. and sometimes just need healing. And our, our big thing is we love them both, the mother and the child. And we just want them to know that help is available mm -hmm. for young women who are maybe facing an unplanned pregnancy, that there, there's help available, and we want to help them. All right, so if you would like to participate in this prayer vigil, that'll be on next Wednesday yes, at uh -huh. the Tom County Courthouse Lawn at noon. So go yes. and check that out if you're interested. Charlotte, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you very much. Yes, and thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. I'll be right back with more CB Live after this.